Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECN. In this week's episode, the UK's newest UAV, robots playing ping pong, and Toyota's personal mobility vehicle. Unmanned aerial vehicles are all the rage this year, and the UK Ministry of Defense is not to be outdone. They've recently announced a release to service for their own UAV, the Watchkeeper WK450. This means that the aircraft can now be used for flight training with the 1st Artillery Brigade pilots. The Watchkeeper, which took to the skies for its first test flight in 2009, was originally contracted in 2005 and is based on the LB Hermes 450 UAV. It's a multi-sensor all-weather UAV that is capable of staying in the air for over 16 hours. The UAV has a wingspan of 35 feet and will fly between 8,000 and 16,000 feet. The current goal is to use the Watchkeeper to support ground troops, as well as for surveillance and intelligence missions. It currently carries no weapons, but with that mission in mind, the UAV offers day and night cameras with 24-hour high-def images and a radar sensor. Well, the apocalypse is nigh at hand. Robots have learned to play ping pong. Industrial mechanic Ulf Hoffman designed the UH TTR1 robotic arm for a single purpose to subjugate human beings and become the dominant species on the planet. <laughs> okay, so I'll probably just play a mean game of ping pong. With the aid of a mounted camera, the UH TTR1 tracks the ball and returns a 40 millimeter lump of plastic back in a passive reactionary mode, which basically means it can't serve the ball a trash talk after kicking your lowly pathetic humanoid keister in a game of table tennis. The project took off in two years, and whilst creation isn't the first ping pong playing robot, believe it or not, the amateur tinkerer deserves credit for designing this artificial miracle in his garage without the help of professionals or Forrest Gump. Though Forrest Gump might be needed to beat the UHTTR1 and save the planet from an onslaught of ping pong playing robots. Toyota recently released the details of a fully enclosed, two-seater, three-wheeled, fully electric personal mobility vehicle that the company will officially debut in Geneva. The idea is that the vehicle, called the iRoad, is the perfect combination of the mobility and size of a motorcycle with the all-weather capabilities and safety of a small car. The iRoad can only be driven about 30 miles with its electric powertrain, but can be recharged from any conventional power supply in just three hours, which makes it ideal for cities. At just under 5 feet tall and 8 feet long and 3 feet wide, it's a tight squeeze for two people. On the other hand, the Zero Emissions all-electric powertrain uses a lithium-ion battery to power the vehicle, which also features Toyota's new Active Lean technology. The Active Lean works to stabilize the vehicle by calculating the required degree of lean based on sensors, vehicle speed, and steering angle. Plus, because it's a closed space, the iRoad comes with luxuries usually found in cars, like lighting, heating, audio, and Bluetooth capabilities. That's all for this week's news. Join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. For the ECN channel, I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your engineering update.